Hi, Brian Bush, field agronomist for Pioneer covering central and southern Indiana. I want to talk to you today about European corn borer. So if you're a farmer that grows non-BT corn, you know what a devastating pest corn borer can still be for us um, on our corn crop. So I started catching adult moths that are emerging from the residue between May 20th and May 23rd. Today is June 1st. So based off the heat units we've accumulated, those moths have mated, laid eggs, and actually those eggs should be hatching right now, anytime here. So if I'm going across this field over the next two weeks, I would definitely consider including an insecticide to help control those, uh, those emerging larvae, the, the worms out there. Based off the heat that goes on, we want to try and control those before they get to the third instar stage. At that stage, they are large enough to burrow into the midribs and actually into the stalks. Once that begins to happen, you're not going to control corn borer at that point. Then we have to wait until the second generation starts to emerge. So given normal heat units, it should take somewhere between four to five to six weeks for those adults to emerge again as moths where we can try and control them again. Locally here, I've had very good success working with customers coming in at their fungicide time at, at tasseling and including an insecticide that has residual, something that can kill not only the adults, but the eggs and the larvae. So if you're growing non-BT corn, certainly the next two weeks give you a great opportunity to try and manage the first generation of those insects. But also kind of keep an eye out and scout, certainly consider an insecticide at BT as well to help manage this, this damaging pest. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.